everybody, let's talk about how to go from how, how do I move forward, to wow. I didn't see that coming as a possibility. It might sound trite to go from how to wow, but we've probably all had those moments where we could not figure out the path forward. Despite all of our creative thinking, our years of experience, the different ideas that we've brainstormed with others, we've put so much effort in and we just couldn't see the path forward and then we kind of let it go, maybe went for a walk on the beach, went to sleep the next morning, and then the possibility that we never anticipated kind of dropped it. That's because in those moments, we found the right balance between the dance of intention and surrender. And I was recently reminded of the power of this when I faced a challenge with my dad's health care that I hadn't encountered before and I felt there just wasn't a solution forward. I had tried everything. And I'm sharing this as an example because not only do we have challenges in our work lives, but sometimes there are personal challenges that we just care so deeply about and want to bring our very best to the table that in actuality, we're kind of getting in our own way. The same can happen in the workplace when we want to bring our team to new heights and we want to really serve the end customer well or serve the patient well for those of you working in healthcare. And we're not able to see a new possibility. And so what is that dance of intention and surrender? Um, Intentionality is not only being clear on what we want as the output, but what we will be feeling, what those of us who are connected with this challenge will be feeling, what the energy will be upon successful resolution. So again, the focus is on the what the output is and what we'll be feeling, not the how of how we get there. That's where we get in our own way. And that's when over-efforting, over-intending can actually lead to us feeling separate from that which we're actually seeking to achieve and keeps us kind of spinning in kind of an over-exercising of action, action, action without enough space for reflection, nuance, or even serendipity to kind of drop in. Now, surrender, on the other hand, can be one of the hardest things to do when we're urgently trying to find a solution to something. And surrendering is not an over-surrendering of just laying back, lounging around, almost kind of, you know, dropping into a little bit of laziness around the challenge at hand. It can involve action, but there's space to actually have new ideas or new people or new kind of Um, creative options pop in when we surrender because we're not clinging so tightly to only one path up that mountain. So I'm sure you may have your own practice to find that balance between intention and surrender. Three steps that help me, and this may help you if you're faced with a similar challenge right now, is number one, be sure that I'm focused on the what the outcome is and what we will be feeling first and foremost and get energetically connected with that future solution. Sometimes I need to go take a walk outside of my day-to-day environment to kind of walk as that future self who has found that solution. That that helps me. Number two, really get into place of stillness mid-flight, kind of like the hummingbird can kind of be still to get the nectar out of the flower while the wings are going. It means that I'm going to surrender to some new possibilities that I can't see yet. And number three, when an inevitable kind of doubt or question arises where we're uncertain what to do next or what action should we should be taking right now, I'll pause and ask myself, what possibility could be trying to be born right now that I cannot see? What possible new connection or new um, curiosity could I follow that would lead ultimately to a solution I had never imagined. And that's exactly what I did. I followed those three steps with regards to something with my father's health care. And lo and behold, a neurologist through a connection that I had had serendipitously with someone else that led me to a, another health care provider that led me to this neurologist that was a perfect kind of match for our family needs that led to a solution that we had never even thought about. That all was born through this dance of intention and surrender. So I invite you to try those three steps out and see where you might be able to turn how into wow. Hi, thanks for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. 
And if you did, I'd like to invite you to join the Limitless Actualization community. It's free to join, and when you do, you'll have access to even more exclusive content just like this on other leadership topics, all designed to help you actually transform uncertainty into greater energy and focus, clarity, and expanded meaning and impact. Again, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you soon in the Limitless Actualization community.